With its golden domes and towering white walls, the Trinity Monastery of St. Sergius is the spiritual home of Orthodox Russian Christianity. Millions of tourists snake their way inside the complex each year, but the monastery could soon engulf much of the surrounding town of Sergiev Posad. The town's mayor and church officials want to spend $2.2 billion restructuring the area into the heart of the Russian Orthodox Church. Locals are divided on the ambitious plan. God is with us. God is everywhere. We're all for it. Let the money come. It's not that much money. And it's worth it. We have many needy people that they could give that money to or build good roads or homes like the ones we used to get for free. They could spend money on that. I don't think that it's a great idea by our government. The Kremlin will provide at least 90 percent of the funding. With increasing support from the state, on average, three new churches are opening in Russia every day. Russia's Orthodox Church has rarely had such a bright future, but there are politics at play here too. A strong church supports a strong Russian state, and that's good news for President Vladimir Putin. While Pope Francis is seen by many as embracing liberalism, President Putin has championed the social conservatism of the Orthodox Church to solidify his support base. Back in Sergeyev Posad, local blogger Andrei Trofimov shows us where an influx of cash could be used to repair old buildings and fix damaged roads. He supports the monastery project, but says it's a clear sign of Putin's close ties to the church. I think they have a mutually beneficial relationship because the church fully supports the politics of the government and promotes humility and obedience to Vladimir Putin's regime. Under the old Soviet Union, religion was all but eliminated in Russia. But today, the Orthodox Church is extending its power across the country and perhaps the presidents too. Harry Horton, Sergei Posad, Russia.